all right you guys welcome back to some more dragon ball the breakers today we're going to be going over the brand new update that just dropped they released three new transfers we now have majin buu frieza and cell so we get to use the raider power-ups while playing as the survivors which is pretty dang cool of course i'm going to try to unlock all three and show off some gameplay and to unlock all the new characters you have to summon for them so real quick let me show you guys the new banners we do have two new ones uh, the first one is called rival spirits this is how you unlock all three characters the next one is basically the same as the original banner except if you do a multi summon you'll get an extra summon for free for the same price right so that's pretty cool and this is the original one uh, of course we're going to be summoning on this one to get all three characters real quick let's go over the drop rates uh, for frieza we have four different drops two supers and two passive skills we have death slicer death ball special service which i believe is new and expert driver speed boost i really want special service just because uh, that's the five star frieza and it's a 0.6 drop rate so hopefully we get that as for cell we have six different drops four super attacks and two skills we have full power energy blast volley special beam cannon which is probably the best ultimate attack in the game at least i think uh kamehameha and perfect kamehameha for the two skills we have after image and key tracking and for cell of course i'm aiming for the five star which is a 0.6 drop rate for the last transfer character majin buu two super attacks two skills innocence cannon full power energy wave go go gum and barrier auto recovery i'm gonna be aiming for the five star majin buu of course uh, so th those are all the drops without further ado make sure to drop a like on today's video i'll greatly appreciate it and actually before we do the first multi summon it's a bit strange because this banner doesn't take the original golden spirit siphon as you can see at the top right corner i have 27 yeah it only takes the season one tickets zenny ntp medals i do have 770,000 zennies so we're just gonna go ahead and start things off with that make sure to drop a like i'll greatly appreciate it also comment down below which character are you aiming for you, you guys are trying to get all three or just a certain villain i really want cell and frieza just because of the special service passive skill and cells perfect kamehameha right yo the multi summits oh already with the four star majin buu innocence cannon let's go all right i'll take that we have vegeta already got that character same for krillin and if you get a duplicate you can see at the top left corner that it'll convert itself into spirit energy right so we get 900 for every duplicate next we got teen gohan with the super attack masenko nice krillin i think that was the fifth character maybe fourth trunks all right please someone new we got majin buu already so that's cool we just need frieza and cell <laughs> goku all right oh five star goku oh kyle can rush already pulled him though <laughs> All right, so we just got one, no, two new characters, or, you know, one new character with two new skill attacks because we did unlock Masenko. I wonder if your chances are better if you summon with TP medals rather than Zenny, right? I'm honestly not too sure about that. But as for the second multi summon, oh, one gold, one gold, one gold space pod. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, Majin Buu and Frieza. Expert driver speed boost. I believe I already have that unlocked. I unlocked that from Krillin. Could be totally wrong. Vegeta, Gohan, Yamcha, Wolf Fang Fist. I'll take it if it's new. Oh, and full power energy blast volley. Yo, not bad. All right, yo, I'm getting mad spirit points right now. I have 18,000. <laughs> and sell yo we unlocked all three new characters and we got the after image skill oh is that like an evasive but for survivors i want to know how that works and we unlocked burning attack oh my gosh we're unlocking everything today go go gum yes we got the five star margin boo the one i wanted yeah not bad that was a very good 
multi summon right there. Um, what else do we need? I need per we have we got unlocked all three villain transfers, but I want special service and perfect kamehameha. We got go go gum, so that's that's one down. <laughs> At first, I was aiming just to unlock all three characters, but that was way too easy. Now I want these specific items. We're just gonna go ahead and skip this one, maybe. All right, no golds. Yeah, so let's just skip that. <laughs> We're gonna skip all this. Continue. Wait, we can't just skip everything. I guess not. Not too bad, so two new items there. Hey, we have one gold with this one. <laughs> I'll take it. Why is it always just one gold though? You know what I'm saying? I, I wanna see like three or four golds. At the same time. Uh, yeah, we're just getting a whole bunch of duplicates. I mean, <laughs> there's only like eight different characters you can unlock, right? Flying Nimbus? What? I already had that. Special Beam Cannon. Cell. Eh. I I'm aiming for perfect Kamehameha. But it's still cool that we got something new. Alright, I'm just gonna be using all the Zenny. I don't even care. Wait, actually. Actually. I could just buy... Perfect Kamehameha from the shop, right? How much does it cost? 25,000 and I have 33,000. I think I'm just gonna save the spirit energy for my active and passive skills because I do like to upgrade certain items. Yeah. <laughs> so the capsule wheel is set to level 20, which is max. Next, I probably want to upgrade Go Go Gum and Special Service just to see what they do at full capacity. So yeah, we're just gonna save our spirit energy and keep on summoning out here. We have enough for one more multi. This is our last chance to unlock special service and perfect Kamehameha. Please, please, we're gonna let it play out. No gold. Man, hey, we still could unlock something new. Nothing new from that multi, wow. Using the rest of my TP tokens, uh, we have enough for two summons. Just gonna go ahead and skip this. Yeah, nothing new there. Of course, uh, one more TP metal summon for the one time. Oh, we got Cell Kamehameha. <laughs> That's not perfect Kamehameha, but I'll take it. Yo, we really need a uh, father-son Kamehameha for uh, Gohan, right? Then we could do this perfect versus father-son clash. That'll be pretty intense. Uh, we can use six season one summons. So we're just gonna use everything, man. I don't even care. Oh, Death Ball! Hey, I'll take that! <laughs> Let's go. That's not special service, but it's fine. Okay, last summon for the day. No way! <laughs> what? You're kidding me! We actually got special service level 5 Frieza from the last summon. What? Yo! I got everything I wanted except for perfect Kamehameha. Special service. Reduces cooldown time needed to perform another dragon change after one ends. Pretty dang cool. And of course, Go Go Gum. We all know what that does. It's a 60 second cooldown. Probably gonna be upgrading that. And I have all three of the new transfer equipped. So without further ado, let's hop straight into the showcase. Gonna go ahead and start things off with the first dragon chains, uh, which is Frieza, uh, level one. All right. Moment of truth. First time checking this out. Let's see how it is. Here goes nothing. Hey! <laughs> Yo, did you guys see Frieza in the background? We did the Frieza pose. We have the purple aura. Yo, this is cursed. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Alright, of course, his neutral key blasts are death beam attacks, which is pretty dang cool. We do even the Frieza pose. All right, yo, Death Beam seems pretty good. You know, maybe not the best neutral key blast, but it's up there. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do some damage up close. Oh, oh, I don't think I'm strong enough. Yeah, because normally first form cell is stage two, right? And I'm only level one. <laughs> so I can't really fight. Now let's go ahead and use our ultimate attack, Death Ball. Oh, we have super armor. Oh wait, is this something similar to the one-handed spirit bomb where we can hold on to it? I think it is, yeah. Look at that. Alright, let me just go ahead and launch it this time around. Oh, he dodged it. Nice. Alright, once more. <laughs> Yo, level one is bad. Oh, that did a lot of damage for a level one ultimate. Yo! <laughs> 
Ooh, that did like two health bars. Yeah, look at that. It does a bar and a half. About. Pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and use Go Go Gum. Yeah. Using that and then following up with an ultimate. Easy. Easy. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and transform to level two, which is the cell. Perfect form. All right, here it is for the one time. Here goes nothing. Oh, no. We didn't get the cinematic animation. Strange. Oh, <laughs> we do have the cell idle stance. Pretty dang cool. Uh, his neutral is... Uh, what is it called? Gravity impact, I think. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, there's the ultimate attack, which is just the normal Kamehameha. I tried to unlock perfect, but there it is. We got the cinematic intro right there. Uh, he does the cell stance once again. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Uh, we can actually box this time around just because I'm on his level. Quite literally. <laughs> All right, I don't think Gravity Impact is a good neutral. Look at that. It's easy to dodge. Uh, it doesn't do that much damage. Yeah, I feel like Death Beam is superior in every way. You know, just based off this quick little showcase. Uh, what do you guys think? I feel like Death Beam is a bit better. <laughs> the startup animation takes forever. And yeah, the damage is not the greatest. I just died. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. This is just normal Kamehameha, though. I wanted perfect Kamehameha. All right, let's land this for the one time. Kamehameha! Yo, even Death Ball does a bit more damage than Kamehameha. What? Strange, strange. Yeah, look at that. That only does not even a bar of health. Interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and transform to Majin Buu. This one probably looks the coolest, at least in my opinion. Just look at this. <laughs> Yo, we have Buu's ultimate form from the Dragon Ball Super anime. Remember when he was trained for the Tournament of Power? Hey, I like the idle stance as well. He's ready. We have Innocence Cannon. Yeah, we unlock Death Ball for Frieza, Kamehameha for Cell, and Special Beam Cannon. And for Majin Buu, we just got one ultimate, which is Innocence Cannon, which is fine. But let's go ahead and use Go Go Gum. There it is. Oh! Oh, the damage. Wait, hold on. Did you guys see that? The damage. I feel like Death Ball is superior in every way. Let's check out the neutral Key Blast. Oh, no way! Majin Kamehameha! Yo, that is cool! Ooh! It does way more damage than Perfect Impact, or Gravity Impact, whatever it's called, and more damage than Death Beam. And the startup is... You know, Death Beam is definitely the fastest, but it's not as long as Gravity Impact, right? Yeah, I feel like Majin Buu has the best neutral. Well, this is it for today's video. Of course, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.